Hello, beautiful people of the internet. How are you doing today? My name is Jackie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a little vlog. We are currently headed to the Jane Austen Festival in Mount Dora, Florida. As you know, if you watch my videos, I'm a huge Jane Austen fan and we have never been to the Jane Austen Festival before. So this is going to be our first time and I am taking you guys along with me. So let's see what's in our goodie bag. Are you all right over there? I think that's a bookmark, but it already got bent in my bag. A mask, notebook of some kind. Mail file. Yours isn't bent like mine. You can have it. <laughs> He's a banker, so he presumably has financial knowledge. He 
He is also a man when men want to interact with other men in affairs of business. But the story isn't quite as simple as, oh, well, Henry, boring letter, but it does show Austin um, doing the very kind of business side of her work. So the context of this particular letter is that I made a very smart adult purchase today. Bookish cats. It was only three dollars. Like, I had to. Hello again, everyone. So I am here because I realized I did not film an intro to this very quick Jane Austen festival vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Obviously, I didn't film a huge amount of the festival itself because, like, obviously, you know, there were people there who were in Regency costume, but I'm not going to ask some stranger if I can film their costume. That would be weird. And I am way too introverted to approach somebody like that anyway. And I did film a couple clips from the lecture that we went to, but obviously I didn't want to film the entire thing. It was a lecture by a professor from, I believe, the University of South Florida, and the theme of the lecture was Jane Austen and London, talking a little bit about what London was like in the Regency period and Jane Austen's personal visits to London. I feel like I knew a lot of the things that she shared in the lecture, but that's because I literally wrote an entire book set in Regency London, and I did a lot of research while I was writing it. So obviously, I'm sure a lot of people there learned a lot of things. I just happened to have done a lot of research into that topic already. Though it was still enjoyable, and I think the personal anecdotes about Jane Austen herself were the things that I liked the best about the lecture. There was one part where she was talking about how Jane, while she was staying with her brother and sister-in-law, she would go to different art exhibits that were in London, you know, the National Gallery, which was still located on Pall Mall in this period. And really, this is really cute, but Jane Austen would apparently go and look at all the different portraits trying to find portraits that reminded her of her characters. She found one portrait that she wrote to her sister Cassandra and said, this portrait looks just like Jane Bennett Bingley. Like that is 100% how I imagined her. And she said she was on the lookout trying to find an Elizabeth portrait. And unfortunately she wasn't able to find one that matched her mental image of Elizabeth. And she made this really cute comment in her letter. Obviously, I'm paraphrasing it, so you can research this if you want the exact quote. But Jane in her letter made some comment to her sister being like, well, it makes sense that there are no portraits of Mrs. Darcy at the exhibitions because I would imagine they're so dear to her husband, he doesn't want other people to see them. And I just love that little joke. Like, I'm just imagining Mr. Darcy getting all these portraits of his beloved Elizabeth and keeping them at Pemberley. Like, no, not letting other people see this portrait of my wife. I just love her too much. <laughs> I can't part with the portraits. Like, that's so cute. Also, apparently Jane Austen said that she imagines Elizabeth Darcy and her portrait wearing yellow. And I never thought of Elizabeth Bennet as a yellow girl, but according to Jane Austen, that's Elizabeth's favorite color. And she said that she imagines Jane as loving green. So that was interesting. I didn't know that. It was a fun day and we had a good time also walking around Mount Dora between events. We went on the canal cruise, which was part of the festival. And that was a lot of fun. So if you ever find yourself in Florida around the time of the Jane Austen Festival, I would recommend going to it. It was fun. They had a lot of other Regency activities over the course of the festival weekend too. Like for instance, you know, bonnet making workshop, you know, um, dance classes and things like that. We didn't go to any of those this year and they all are an extra cost. But, you know, you can look into those activities if you decide to go next year and those are things that appeal to you. That is it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed. It really does help my channel a lot. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. My social media links are down below if you want to follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or be my friend on Goodreads. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.
Bye, and I'll see you next time.